<laughs> hey, what's up, you sons of bitches? Today, we're gonna be talking about After the Flash and why I think it's a piece of fucking shit. So, let's begin. We all know the classic After the Flash, right? A decade long franchise which has been beating the dead horse for the last couple of games. Yeah. Let's not wait around and actually see why it's a husk of itself. Alright, so first we got the stale fucking lore. Before we get into the juicy shit with the community, you know, the retards, aka fucking mods, let's first go down into the the rabbit hole, which is called lore. So I've checked it out, and it's a dumpster fire of confusion in my head. Why would China invade India? Wouldn't they know stability in the region would go down in the shitter? Why invade Mongolia? Was it because of ethnicity? See, after the flash takes a lot of inspiration from Fallout New Vegas. Seals, you know, they're just the Brotherhood of Steel. All that goody goodness, you know. So, in that game, you're, they, they all have motives. But apparently, Xi Jinping can't think of a proper fucking way on why he would invade Mongolia. Anyway, so many answers are unexplained, which just makes it a black and white case. Oh look, second and third world countries are invading a fucking desert. Let's make them evil. Woo okay, well, why does this matter? First of all, it's a roleplay game, you stupid fuck. What if I remade the entire Fallout lore and said China nuked USA because they hate white people without further elaborating? Yeah, that's pretty much sums up the fucking lore. I know, it's stupid. Uh, unless you think it's not stupid, I have more points to give out to you. Gameplay. Gameplay is just fucking dog shit. Basically, you sit in a fucking parking lot and give back flashbacks to other people. Not fun, right? Okay, what if I wanted to beat someone up, you say? Sorry, bro. Some fucking ninja is going to take you on and save the person you're beating up every damn time. Well, what if I have friends? The motherfucker is going to speed type, refuse to roleplay, and kick the living shit out of you on his terms. How do I avoid them? Well, there's something called a level system. Basically, you level up every hour. Just don't play with those that have a really high level. Example, level 1000s. Also, if you were thinking to roleplay with other people, instead of beating them to a bloody pulp, have fun with that. The most you'll get is a backstory and bartering some vegetables. Sure, you can live in a town which is placed in a parking lot with no source of trade, but where's the fun in that? I assure you. I assure you. Before, I was banned. Me and some other people were the only ones selling crack to restaurant dealers and having an Italian repair shop. Okay, well, the roleplay is watery jizz. But the locations must be interesting, right? Well, on those terms... Yeah, I guess so. But if you're a veteran of these kinds of things, you'll know you'll always have your military base, your generic town. But there are some interesting locations like Cliff Guard, Roadside Bar, and, you know, the island with the Coast Guard or something like that, you know? Okay, well, if the buildings are okay, I can double the fun with my guns. No, you can't. Most interesting guns need permission. And if you don't get permission, people are going to whine. And we don't want whining. The ones that don't need it are the same fucking thing. Okay. Let me elaborate on the same thing about guns. Guns are the same thing. If you go into After the Flash, and you look at all the guns, you'll see the same skin color, the same color, the same type. It's like Chad didn't give a shit and just put them all into the same thing. Anyway, let's go on about community. It's not a good bag. Not even mixed. The players are e-girls and patriotic femboys. They're not fun to play with. But when you finally get a good motherfucker, it changes everything. 
It's like a Sunday with your girlfriend. It's fucking awesome. You can actually roleplay. The mods, though, they're a Gen Z Hitler. They will fucking lynch you for one mistake. If you want an example, I got one. I got you one. You see, Longest Boy banned me. Why did he ban me? Apparently, I found out I participated in a raid, which I didn't do. And when he means raid, um, let's just say, uh, it's not what you think it, it is. I was just with a couple of fellas, you know. One dude was role-playing as Dylan Klebold or something, you know. But I, 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 I partook in nothing, but I still got banned, you know. Anyway, longest boy, you're a fucking dick. Uh, what else is there to talk about? Anyway, what about the factions? Well, they're bland. CDF, USCPF, SLF. It's pretty much the same group. Military poo-poo heads who want control over a region. That's pretty much it unless you want to dig into the community factions. I don't really have anything to say about them because... I never really joined any. Oh wait, forgetting one. Remember the coyotes? Well, no one does. They're forgettable as shit. They had no backstory to them, nothing. And the, my, my, the biomass isn't even a fucking faction. It's just a group, random ass dudes that like to roleplay as a zombie. They're not really fun to play. I mean, do you want to play with a guy that's buff as shit, and he'll attack you on sight. Yeah, that's not really fun. In conclusion, there's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much all to after the Flash, until ATF-8 comes out. I assure you, it'll be like the last game. The same last game. It's just gonna be with a different coat of paint. That pretty much sums it all. But, before I go, I just want to say something to the community. Fuck you. I never knew any of you.